Hi everyone, it's John Dyslexic Geek here. Today is the 2nd of March, which means I am taking my monthly trip to the Lego store. Now this one is going to be one exciting Lego trip with so many new sets coming out today. We get the first wave of the Animal Crossing sets coming out, the first of the Star Wars, Harry Potter. There is so many good sets coming out. I can't believe today's finally here. I've been looking forward to this day for the best part of a month. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be buying yet. I've been going over the release list over the last couple of weeks trying to work out what I want. I still can't quite decide. Although I am getting a little bit nervous having a look at the online LEGO web website with some of the sets already on back order, particularly the Animal Crossing sets. So hopefully the LEGO store will have plenty of stock. Although I did do a quick stock check to see what was available in my LEGO store. And it's saying a few sets are actually sold out, but after my last experience, I don't necessarily know if that's correct or not. So I have to wait and see when we get there. Hope there's a quite a few bits and pieces left on the shelves. Otherwise, I'm going to be a bit disappointed. I just can't work out what I'm going to be buying. I can see me spending quite a lot of money today. I've been keeping my money back for the past month or so. So that's been burning a hole in my pocket in anticipation of today. So let's work our way to the Lego store and uh, see what we can get. They have got the they have got the Snow White Cottage, which looks just fantastic. I'm so glad to see that, that looks really good, love the minifigures, see the, see the removable uh, roof compartment and we move around to the back, wow that is really really cool, really do like that, um, that is excellent, that's really really good, and then we see the medieval town square and that looks just wow, that's so good to see it. When it's all compacted together like this, it does look really quite substantial. I can see now where the 3,000 pieces are in this set. It wasn't clear from the pictures, but now you can see it. That looks just fantastic. Really, really good. Full of detail. Yeah, that's very, very impressive. Yeah, that looks excellent. Really, really good. Do love the tree. Really nice. Excellent. There's a few more details here that I haven't seen in the pictures. I love this. I like water trough. That is really nice excellent really cool uh, get a look at the small scale r2 that looks really quite sweet actually that's a really nice compact thing. that's quite sweet uh, i do like that quite a lot of stickers but not in the world have a look at the darth manic minifigure that looks excellent wow that's such a nice minifigure seen it for the first time in person looks so nicely detailed really really cool yeah oh, i love that r2 that's really good Moving on down, we see the mid-scale Star Wars ships. Ah, the Millennium Falcon looks fantastic, really good. As does the Tantive. They really are impressive, these mid-scale ships. And even more so in person, the Falcon looks just excellent. The fact they're all printed pieces, which is, yeah, that is so cool. Both of them are excellent. Take a look at the McLaren Senna, which, wow, that looks amazing. A lot bigger than I was expecting, it does look quite substantial. I do love the Ayrton Senna minifigure, looks like the helmet is in fact a printed piece by the looks of it. Really nice to see that. The tyres still look a bit thin, but yeah, that looks pretty cool. I do love the Tag Heuer advertising on the uh, brick there, that looks really good. Yeah, fantastic looking set. And then in the background we have the small scale Speed Champions McLaren nice printing on the uh, wheels a lot of stickers but very good a quick look at the promo sets i do like the animal crossing one that's really quite sweet and the florist which looks really really good yeah that's great they have got the ninjago dragon stone shrine i have to say it is a lot smaller than i was expecting um, does feel a little bit considering the price yeah it's a little bit small i do like the minifigures but yeah not for 105 pounds it's not as impressive as, as i was hoping Moving on to the Harry Potter set, we see the talking sorting hat, which is pretty cool. It looks much better in person. I do quite like it, something appealing about it. Maybe not at full price, but yeah, it does look good. It does, and the crest by looks of things are indeed printed, I think. I can't quite tell from there, so that's nice. Then we have Hagrid's Hut. Again, very similar to the one that retired a couple of years back, but a little bit expensive that always comes on down in sale so i probably will wait for it but yeah that's quite nice but again the uh privet drive set yeah that even in person i mean the hedwig looks quite big in person i suppose more than i was expecting but not a great looking set if i'm perfectly honest now moving on to the animal crossing sets and wow they look so good i love those minifigures i uh, love the fauna minifigure 
Uh, Isabel looks great. Oh, they are so good. They look fantastic. Really good to see them and moving around to Bunny's Outdoor Adventure. Again, that looks really quite sweet. There's a lot more, lot more to it. I like these modular bases. I think you can place these as you fit, so you can have it's a bit like Minecraft sets in a way. You can place them how you want. That looks great. It really does. Uh, as does Nook's Cranny. That looks really quite good, actually. Much, much. That looks just excellent. Really, really impressed with that. Then we have Rose's um, house as well. Really, really cool. And take more of the details in in Nook's shop. That's really very cool. I love these. Really, really good. So that's the Lego store done. Wow, it's so good seeing so many of the new sets. The Medieval Town Square looks amazing. Uh, the Snow White Cottage is certainly very impressive. That was so good to see. Uh, I did buy quite a few bits and pieces in there. I probably spent a little bit more than I was probably anticipating, but I got everything I wanted. I was a little bit worried about things selling out. Uh, looking at the online stock checker, I was a bit nervous seeing a few of the sets selling out already. Uh, but fortunately I was able to get everything I wanted so that's really good. Got a lot of Lego here now, so got to carry it around town. Going to go look in some more shops now, might pick up a few other bits and pieces from elsewhere, maybe from Game, uh, WH Smith, John Lewis, have a see what they've got. And uh, then go get some lunch and I'm going to work my way home and show you what I brought. Okay, so I'm back home now. I have to say that was one of my most enjoyable Lego shopping trips I've had for quite some time. With so many good Lego sets coming out on one day, it's quite unusual, doesn't happen too often. Uh, normally you get a few months throughout the year where you get so many releases coming out. Um, I, I kept saying to myself on the drive down, John, don't go there and buy up the whole shop. Try and be, a, try and show a little bit of restraint. Yeah, well, that didn't really uh, go quite as planned. I did end up uh, spending quite a lot more than maybe I was anticipating, but uh, I'm not that surprised. I couldn't really help myself with all these new sets out. Uh, I could have spent even more, but uh, I had to draw a line somewhere. I could have spent way more money. I was only constrained by how much I could actually carry on one day. So that sort of limited limited me to stop buying everything. So what did I get? Well, I started with the, with the promos. I did get the Friends uh, promo poly bag and the Animal Crossing one, which I'm really pleased about. Not so fast about the Friends one. That will just go into my parts bin. So that's quite free. So that's quite handy for that. But I love the Maple Pumpkin Garden. Comes, in, it comes with a maple minifigure, which is really nice. I think that's great. I'm really pleased to have gotten that. I did also get two of the flower shops. Uh, I brought a few bits and pieces, and my wife did as well, so it enabled me to get um, both, get two lots of the promos. So I've got one for myself, one to sell. One day I will build these promos. I don't tend to do that. I'm not quite sure why. I've got boxes and boxes of promos that I never build. One day I may get round to building them all and displaying them. I'm quite think I'm quite tempted now to build all the four houses of the world from last year and the flower shop as well. Uh, that would be quite cool. But that is a nice looking promo. I'm quite pleased with it. It looked really good in store when I saw it. Nice and vibrant. It's not massive, but I quite like these. Now it's the buy-in still really high for these, but it's still a little bit better than what it was last year. But it's still a bit too high for a promo. But that's pretty good so that's my promo sets i was really good to get those now for the sets well of course i did buy some uh, animal crossing sets i started off with Jury, uh, julian's birthday party now i was only going in store to buy maybe one or two of the, two of the animal crossing sets uh, but once i saw all of them on display they look so good i think they look fantastic i bought quite a few of them <laughs> almost all of them so i've got julian's birthday party I brought Bunny's Outdoor Activities. I think this looks really good. Um, what is really fascinating about these um, Animal Crossing sets is that they are customizable, so you can move them about and display them how you wish. I, I love that aspect to it. I think that's really good. And I did get Nook's Cranny. Uh, this was selling out online, I believe. I think, uh, this is, I think most of these are in fact all on back order at the moment on Lego, at least in the UK. Uh, this was literally the last one on the shelf, so I wasn't going to buy this one, um, but I think FOMO took over and I ended up buying it. I, it, I, yeah, I was going to try and hang on for it, but I saw, I saw them on display and I, saw, and, and I ended up grabbing it. The one, the one Animal Crossing set that I wanted that I couldn't get in the Lego store was Isabel's house visit, but I did in fact manage to get this out of game. Um, so that is pretty much all the Animal Crossing sets. The only one I need is Capin's uh, Boat Tour. Um, I'm not quite sure why I didn't pick that one up, but yeah, I'll get that at some point. I'll probably wait for a sale on that. 
The one thing I will say about these Animal Crossing sets, this has to be some of the best Lego art box art that they've done in some, some time. I love these Lego boxes. They look so nice and colourful, really bright and cheerful. I think these are great box designs. I really do love the box art. I think this is just outstanding. I think Lego have done such a good job with the box art. The, the pictures are really nice. Judging by how much they've sold out on the Lego store now, I think a few of these on the website have actually in the UK that is. I'm not sure about in the US, but I know in the UK a couple of them are actually sold out temporarily and some of, some of the sets are on back order. I do feel these have been very popular, um, so hopefully that might encourage Lego to make more. I believe there's a second wave coming later in the summer. I would love the Blathers Museum, that would be just perfect. Maybe an actual customizable um, like player house or something like that. But yeah, I'm excited to see what Lego do with it. Uh, I think there's another two or three sets uh, planned for the I think, August time. But beyond that, I think it's probably waiting to see how well they are, that these sell. Uh, but I'm not sure how many Lego sets you could possibly make out of Animal Crossing. It's quite limited. Um, it's not It's not like Minecraft where you've got so many possibilities. Animal Crossing is a little bit limited, but you never know. But yeah, I'm really pleased with this. <laughs> so <laughs> wasn't planning on getting all of these in one go, but uh, I couldn't really help myself. I sort of saw them and grabbed them. And yeah, next le thing I know, I'm walking out with uh, pretty much all of them, which is... <laughs> not quite part of the fan but there we go i did buy the Ayrton senna uh, mclaren f1 car uh, this is really cool really pleased seeing this on display i still think the, the tires are, aren't quite right but that's only a minor thing it's a really nice set does look really good in person quite substantial really great i love the Ayrton, Ayrton senna minifigure that's a, it's a great car i love these classic f1 cars from the 80s these are such iconic f1 cars they're so beautiful really nice yeah i'm looking forward to building this should be a lot of fun yeah really cool set nice seeing that on display this should be good fun to build uh, i did buy a couple of the star wars sets uh, again i could have ended up buying them all i went for the, the tantive four this looks excellent uh, so pleased to see this on display looks really good uh, i love these mid scale ships i think they're incredibly I think, these, I think they're fantastic and the, the Super Star Destroyer last year was very popular uh, I think Lego have cottoned onto something here I'd like to see more of these uh, I'd give anything for a Mon Calamari cruiser that would be so good uh, a Nebulon B frigate I know they've done Lego done one a few years ago as a promo I believe um, but beyond that a Nebulon B would be great but you know what I quite like, I quite like at, at these prices you could then end up getting a few of these and having a, a, a mid-scale fleet of some kind I think you could quite easily do that an actual normal Star Destroyer would be good. That would really work. Uh, I'd quite like one of those. Uh, there's so many Star Wars ships that they could do. Um, I didn't see the Invisible Hand, unfortunately. I was looking forward to seeing that, but the Lego store didn't have that on display. Um, but I, I will pick that up at some point. Um, I may wait for a sale for that one. And I did also get the Millennium Falcon. I have to say, I love this big box. It's quite a, it's a much bigger box than I was expecting. I wasn't quite uh, prepared for that. It's a nice, chunky box. But this looks really good. Um, I think it might just look. I think it looks a little bit better than the Tantiv, if I'm honest. It's a great looking Millennium Falcon. I've got a feeling this might be might be one of the best Millennium Falcon designs that Lego have actually done in, in any scale. It looks so good in in mid scale. It looks really great. Nice, sleek. Uh, so when I saw it on display, it looked fantastic, like the Tantiv. But this one looks really good. Nice. Nice big size ship, but not oversized, if you know what I mean. I think Lego have got the proportions incredibly well uh, well done. I think this looks great. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to building this. Not sure which out of the two I'm going to build first. I can't quite decide. I might go with the Tantive. I don't know, but I will be building both of these and reviewing. Certainly, I certainly will be reviewing these. Um, so I have to wait and see which one I decide to go for first. I expect I'll also review the uh, Ayrton Senna car at some point when I get around to building that. I'm still building the Lion Nuts Castle. Um, still got quite a lot of that to go yet, so that might take a little bit of a backseat for a little while to get um, these built. I'm have a little break from that. I feel, but yeah, these look really good. I will, at the, end, the R2D2 looked excellent. I will be buying that at some point, but I'm going to wait for a sale on that. I'm no great rush. I love the Darth Malik minifigure. Uh, it's so good. Really nice looking R2. Yeah, great. Really pleased with these Star Wars sets. Now, I was debating between getting the get, getting the Snow White's Cottage or the Medieval Town Square. I couldn't decide. Really, I was really struggling with which, with which to get. I went to the Lego store, fully in my head what I was going for, but then I saw the Snow White's Cottage. 
and it looked wow. I was super impressed with it. It looks so good, so much better than I was expecting. It is a really nice, bright, colourful set. But in the end, I did go for the medieval town square. Only just. Um, I saw this on display as well. Uh, this was my gut feel uh, as I'm building the Lion Knight's Castle at the moment. It's sort of, this is what I really wanted. Now, when this was first revealed, I was a bit lukewarm to it. I have to be honest. I think if anyone who saw my um, unveiling video, I wasn't too excited about it. Uh, I was a little bit concerned. It may have been a little bit of underwhelming, but now having seen it for myself, it looks really good. In fact, it does look fantastic. It would have been nice if there had been a few more minifigures. That's the only thing. It's only eight, I think, in this total. In, in, in total. Uh, not many animals, but it's not the end of the world, if I'm being perfectly honest. But having seen it on display, there's a few extra details that you don't see in the Lego pictures. These are, these, these are I haven't noticed. And having it in front of you, being able to look at it, it really does look just really great. And it'll go incredibly well with the Lion Knight's castle. I don't think it's going to go that well with the medieval blacksmith. Um, I think that's too much off scale. The blacksmith is quite a big set. I don't think they'll work it together, but maybe they will. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I think it's great. Uh, I really do like. Uh, yeah, I'm so pleased with this. Snow White's cottage. I will be buying, uh, but I'll be either waiting for a sale or I might hang on for double uh, insider points next time they do it. Or if there's any more promos, maybe coming out in March. I, I don't really want to spend any more money in, in March. I don't think my wife would be too impressed if I go and spend any more. Uh, I think I spent more than enough money <laughs> in this uh, Lego haul. So, yeah, the, the Snow White Cottage will be mine at some point. But, yeah, I might have to wait for a little while on that. And I'll, like I say, I'll, I'm, I'll probably wait for a sale on that. So, yeah, but at some point I'll get it. So yeah, that is a, a pretty good haul. So this will all keep me busy for a good while yet. Uh, I've not had a haul like this, like I said, for a very long time. I think this might be one of my best hauls I've done since starting YouTube. I'm so thrilled with everything I've got. I did get a wide variety of sets. Um, I was going to pick up a couple of Harry Potters, but they tend to come down in price quite quickly. So I'll probably hang on for those. I'm no great rush for those. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with my haul. It's... Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting stuck in and building all this. I don't know where, I'm just looking around my Lego room right now and thinking where on earth I'm going to put all these sets. Um, I have got a new uh, display cabinet. I've got a Calax shelving. I'm planning on replacing all the shelves behind me with Calax, uh, Ikea Calax shelves, but I've only got the one for the moment. I'm trying to get hold of those when I can. I try and buy them off uh, Facebook Marketplace. I don't want to pay full price for them. I'll try and get them as cheap as possible. So yeah, I'm going to replace all these shelvings uh, units with Calax. I might be able to fit in more sets doing that. Uh, yeah, but my Lego City is coming on nicely now. In a couple of weeks time, I expect I'll be doing a Lego room tour to show you ex everything I've got right at the moment. I won't have the Calax in, in here by then, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep an eye out for that video. I think a Lego tour is due. I want to show you what I've been doing with my Lego City. It looks fine. I'm quite pleased with it. I keep playing around with it. Can't quite get it how I want. Uh, I've still got quite a few gaps to fit in, but it's a work in progress. Uh, so uh, Lego cities, they don't happen overnight. They, they are done in stages and mine's at the very beginning phase, but I'm quite pleased looking at it now how I've got it. So yeah, so keep a, a, an eye out for that video. So that's it. So that's my haul for March. I don't think I'm going to be buying any more now. That is pretty much it. Although I have redeemed my code for the Micro Ninjago uh, promo set. So I've got 60 days to use that code. So I'll probably order something in April to get in order to get that. Um, but yeah, so that's my Lego haul for March. So let me know in the comments what sets did you pick up in March, if anything. Um, can I please ask to leave a like? And if you've enjoyed today's video, I'd be very grateful if you consider subscribing today. And look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks very much for watching today.